Okay, so let's recap and then we'll take it from training aid to golf club. importance of the grip, the rings up against the bottom corner. We're going to show you they go right up against the golf club also. That puts the heel pad right on top, gets the thumb near the top, so I can now connect my trail palm to the thumb, latch these two fingers on, make sure that the palm and thumb stay connected, so that I can now start my motion. As I increase how big my motion gets, there, there are the body movements where I've got to do three things in my backswing. It's not just turn, because if I turn, I stay flexed forward. I need a combination of turn, extension, and tilt, and we blend those three together equally so that my head stays where the ball is. From there, we're going to start to turn the femurs, knees, pelvis. That gets my chest to turn. But as it's turning, I also then need it to go back into extension. Why that's so important? If I stay bent forward the whole time, my swing would look like this. Powerful golf swings don't look like that. Again, those three movements. I have to turn extend and tilt simultaneously. Then on the downswing, I need to turn, extend, tilt, while the arms are swinging forward and releasing. So I've now demonstrated that with the impact snap. Let's add a golf club to this. So now I've got my golf club. How do I transition from the impact snap to actually hitting a ball? First order of business, get the rings or get the joints correct on the golf club. We said rings at about eight o'clock on the golf club for a normal swing. That leaves my thumb just to the side of the logo and I'll connect my palm, connect the right hand. So now I'm gonna make some short motions, waist high to waist high and once I get through impact, I'm just looking for, okay, how big is this radius? The distance from my lead shoulder to the hosel or a club face. We want to make sure that that's near full length for this whole thing. Note that when I get there, a lot of people, they think, okay, lag is a great thing, but if that club face doesn't match up to something, then our golf ball is going to go a little sideways. That's the magic of these three moves. We've got cocking, uncocking. We've got some amount of flexion or bowing, and then some amount of supination. And those three movements combined leave us with a full radius. Okay, so now I'm going to hit a few golf balls, and I want you to see how to transition again from training aid into golf club. I'm making my same moves. I'm achieving the same finish position. So with the impact snap, I'll add a little turn, a little load, a little unload. I want to finish with that nice full radius. I encourage people to use maybe a pitching wedge, nine or eight, for this exercise so that we're not taking super full, you know, full on swings yet. We're gradually easing into fuller golf swings. Again, the finish position right up here. Don't really care, and my students will testify, I don't care where the ball goes, I care about these measurements because the better these measurements go or get, the better the golfer you become. I'm Marty Nowicki for Impact Snap. I hope this video helped you. Please leave your comments down below. That helps us to create more content for you.
please hit the subscribe button, click the bell notification. That way you get notices each time we put out more content. For Impact Snap, I'm Marty Nowicki. Thank you for watching.